क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेज इवेल्युएट इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन एक्स ई पॉर एक्स प्लस साइन ऑफ पाई एक्स बाय फोर हाउ डू वी डू दैट सो दिस एक्स ई पॉर एक्स इज एक्चुअली प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू फंक्शन यस सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस कैन बी डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ बाई पार्ट वन ऑफ द आइडियाज और दिस इज स्पेशल इंटीग्रल रिलेटेड टू ई पॉर एक्स वी कैन यूज दैट इंटीग्रल ऑफ साइन पाई एक्स बाई फोर इज नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट थिंग राइट वी कैन इजिली हैंडल दैट दिस इज अ लीनियर फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वी कैन इजिली फाइंड द इंडेफिनेट इंटीग्रल सो फर्स्ट फोकस ऑन फाइंडिंग द इंडेफिनेट इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस फंक्शन Let's focus on i1, which is integral x e power x dx plus integral sine pi x by 4 dx. Let's separate these two integrals, indefinite integrals outside. Right. So e power x along with e power x, you have x. Okay. Derivative of x can be created. What are we using over here? The special integral which says integral of e power x times f x plus f prime x dx is equal to e power x f x. So this will have derivative one. Let's reduce a one over here. So you have f x, and do you see that you have f prime x as well? Yes. So e power x f x plus f prime x. If you integrate this whole expression, d x, this integral will be e power x f x, which is e power x times x minus one. That's one part. Here, what are we supposed to do? This is a linear function of x, linear polynomial of x. So pi by four times x is a linear polynomial of x. You can integrate directly. You can integrate sine of pi x by four will be equal to minus cos pi x by four. At the end, you'll have to divide with this coefficient pi by four. This is what you'll be doing, right? Okay. So what does this become? This is minus four upon pi cos pi x by four. Plus a constant of integration along with this, right? This is what you'll be getting. Is that okay? Yes, that looks okay. Minus four by five cos of pi x by four plus c. That is okay, and this is also okay, right? That's a complete indefinite integral. Once you have found the indefinite integral, therefore i will be equal to integral from zero to one of x e power x plus sine pi x by four dx. This is further equal to what? x e power x the integral will be this e power x times x minus 1 and you have minus 4 by pi for this cos of pi x by 4 and the limits will be from 0 to 1 let's substitute the limits right so substituting one e power 1 1 minus 1 will become 0 1 minus 1 is 0 right minus 4 by pi cos of pi by 4 is what i'll get right that's one of the things Then you substitute a zero, so this becomes okay. This is the first term minus the second term. You substitute a zero. E power zero is one. Zero minus one is minus one. This is what you get. Minus four by pi cos zero is what I'll be getting over here. This is the second term. Yes. This is minus four by pi times cos pi by four is one by two. One by root two actually. This is what you have. And minus of minus one becomes plus one. Minus or minus becomes plus four by pi. Cos zero is one. So overall, this value becomes one plus four by pi minus two root two. Four upon root two is two root two upon pi. That is my required answer for this particular question number twentieth. As you can see over here in this question, right? That's the complete solution of this twentieth question.